My name is Caleb Peck, and these are my two brothers, Brady and Alex. Ever since we were little kids, we've been obsessed with anything to do with off-road. You're watching Peck Brothers. This is our story. I had an idea come up. If we just take them off. I want to like break the track. <laughs> What's up guys? So, I just had an idea driving up here. I bought this truck. It's an 07. Ford F-350. It rides like garbage. Like, I bet you a garbage truck rides better than this. So, it's got a six inch lift. Yeah, it's a rough country, which it's holding up to its name. And I want to take the shocks off. I think they're blown out. I, I'm just thinking if I take the shocks off, they'll ride better. And I'm gonna see what Brady and Kayla have to say. They're probably gonna think I'm stupid. But I'm gonna see what they say. Let's go look. Hey! Hey! What? What are you doing? Our sway bars are dry after a week. <laughs> Why were your sway bars wet? With okay. pain. Oh. Come on. Oh. Come on. Well, oh, and it's cold. Okay, well, enough with Jeeps for today. I got an idea. Enough with Jeeps. What? <laughs> Come on. Get out of here. Come here. I got an idea. What Come do here. You want? Come here. What are you doing? I had an idea coming up. This thing rides like complete egg salad sandwich. <laughs> right. Like, it's horrible. I don't know why. Tell me it doesn't ride worse. Tell me it doesn't ride worse than those OBSs used to ride. It's worse than that. No. I'm not joking. You hit a bump and you like, it like bounces. It doesn't like absorb it. So maybe it's because it's got a 15 inch lift on it. You ever thought of that? It's a six. It's a rough cut. So you're gonna swap leaf springs on it. Is that what These are your famous blown out rough country shock. It's gotta be that that's making it ride like junk. So what would you guys think if we just take them off? The what shocks? You, yeah, what do you think it'll do? What do we think? Yeah. You gotta have shocks. It's just gonna sit and bounce. You know, that's what damn We'll just it. sit here and Yeah, and we'll be like like the We'll be straight out of California. Whoa! Yeah. With the with the hydraulics, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so can we quit Jeeps for a sec and just try it? What do you think it's gonna do? It's it's gotta ride better than what it's flipping doing. Though. Let me tell you what we need to do. We need to take one of my 14 inch rad flows and mock it up in there, and that'll hey, fix it. I'm fine with that. But, you think we can fit a 14 but, in there? This truck. I'm just flipping this truck. She don't mean nothing to me. And I just want to see what it does. I've got shocks on the way because I'm pretty sure that's why. Hey, wait. But I just want to see if it rides good. This truck means nothing to me. I was right? just going to say. <laughs> wait a second. Uh, this truck means nothing to me. Has there be ever been a you? truck that, that has meant anything to you? Yeah, my last one. Why'd you sell it then? He's trying to fund a Jeep. He's trying to get another yeah. Jeep. Chill. This truck means nothing. This truck to me. means not <laughs> whistling diesel would be proud. Yeah, whistling diesel. I'm not though. sure how on earth you could sell this truck. The body's in perfect shape. Hold up here. I'm really getting that kick out of this truck means nothing to me. I don't think I've ever heard. Wow. That dirt in there? <laughs> I uh, believe. There's dirt in there. I'm trying and to that's grow some flowers. Hey. Bray doesn't like us using his tools, right? So don't brought, freaking touch him. I brought my own. This is my tool kit from when I was like 15. Craig, who am I making fun of? Oh, many. Oh, my. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, man. What is she doing? Guys, this is Alex's tool selection. It's got to be metric. It's an 18. I'm pretty you sure. just got this for Christmas a couple weeks ago. Dude, does this even have rock lights? These for my Jeep. He put rock lights on? Look at this Wait, wire. Look at this wire. Ratchet? What do you think it goes to? 
What's that? Where's my ratchet? Where's your ratchet? You Good had question. it last. I do a ratchet ain't even gonna fit in there. I had it last. I need a ratchet. I haven't seen these tools since we were in no, Vietnam. I found a ratchet. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's go. What? I'll bet your actual ratchet from the Bostitch set is sitting in the sand and sand hall. <sighs> I bet you're right. Oh, that's the last place I used it. flew out of the back of your Jeep when you jumped. Hey, I'm gonna get some light up there for you. I think the last place I used my ratchet was for my steering on my LJ when I lost my bolt. I don't know if you can you can see or not, but <clears throat> it's kind of hard to see the problem. Oh, that's where it went. Yeah, I put that socket in there. And I obviously didn't put it back. Oh, well, that was Kirkland it? brand. So that's my new song. That oh, that's right. Oh, I ain't doing nothing. Oh. All right, so we're just going to pull that off then. I'm just going to pull them off, Cabe. I what? don't have an 18 uh, what? wrench. So I will have to borrow that. What are you talking about? Oh, you just took the bottom off? Don't take the whole thing off. Just zip tie this to the frame. That's out of the way. It can't. Why? It's, got, it's a post. How are you Dude, gonna... I got some thick zip ties. Try to move it. No, right. If you can zip that, <laughs> yeah, okay. I didn't realize that's how it went. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People may say that this is the worst truck Ford ever made. What but is this truck? This 2007 Ford Power Stroke F350 6.0 liter V8 turbo diesel. And I don't know why the hood's up. We're taking the shot. No, I was getting some light. Here's the thing. Something's probably broke. This baby's deleted, though. So it's bulletproof. Hold on. The fence is asking. It's not fully deleted or bulletproof, but it's set, like semi most the way bullet. This thing's a gem. Have you never heard a 6.0 at like 8,000 RPM? Dude, once you hear that, you'll never want another truck. This truck's at 8,000 more than it's idling with Alex driving. Well, it just takes a minute to get to 8,000 because of the turbo lag. I'm not five inch axle dump. And anybody who knows six O's knows that they, you know, when something goes wrong, they have a hot start issue. This one doesn't have that. No, heck no, it's a cold start. <laughs> we're back, we're, we're, we're throwing it back in the 73. We fixed the hot start issue and now it's got a cold start <laughs> issue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Easy. Little now bust. that right there is a blown out. No, wait, look at this seal. That's, that's, that's still good. That's brand new. That's brand new. Let me go grab. Watch the paint. Why are you putting the bolt back in that? You know where these that is a not standard practice for Alex. Yeah, what? Back in 82, I used to be able to throw a pigskin a quarter mile. Back when I was in high school, I'd have killed for a shock like that. I had three shocks on my Jeep because I couldn't afford the fourth. And he just threw it. I don't care if it's blown out. That's just ungrateful. This might work, actually, Alex's philosophy here, because uh, the Spartan ran without a shock. Spartan ran without shocks, Spartan but it was did. leaf sprung. Spartan did good without a shock. It did do good, but we just hit everything harder. And the three that were on it were blown out ranchos. So. <laughs> yeah, they, were, they were actually Brady shocks. <laughs> I don't even think I paid him. Are you planning on taking all of Wait these out? Are those two different shocks? Yeah. Or is that one just spray painted black? This one is the uh, multi-color. Depends on which way you flip it. Is what color you get? Yeah. And we'll put this right next to the other one. Whoa! Let's go for a ride, boys. All right. Wait. What about the rear? Holy crap, he already has the rears off. I didn't even see him take the rears off. <laughs> Wait, yeah, the rears You aren't even running rear shocks? Heck no. We're, We're trying to soften on. the ride. We're, We're trying to soften it. The only good thing he's got going on here is that's a lot of tread for a peck brother. Well, that's 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 too much. Usually they, our they trucks need they need to break in before they're good. Usually our trucks are completely bald and our jeeps are brand new. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> naturally. So shocks are off. That's number one. <laughs>
so far so good. She's actually <laughs> pretty smooth. Pretty soft, not gonna Dude, lie. Huh? <laughs> it's probably better, huh? Dude, even donuts, 10 out of 10. Whoa! Whoa! I just want to find a little jump, you know? Yeah. See how it handles some air. Whoa! <laughs> She's still bouncy. Okay, do you see those? Yeah. Do you think it's just snow? Cause I heard him first. I said, "Hold on." I said, "Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right." <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, baby. Love how you're turning the wheels. Here we go. This is this is the one. Push you. Here we go. Ah. Ah. I have four wheel drive, all right? This, this ain't no two wheel drive truck. No, but, does it work? Uh, that's part of it. Oh. Here's the, uh, the rest. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Yeah, it don't. Did not work? Hey, front driveway spinning, though. Boy, you're telling me the vacuum hubs don't work. They should. I just replaced them. Maybe that's why they don't. There it is. Hers are like 60. I mean, it's like there's a little. It's kind of bumpy. Honestly, it's still better than what it was. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's it's kind of just like up and down. Going up, down, up, down, up, down. It's like kind of nice. Honestly, eight, maybe nine out of ten, I'd give it. That wasn't violent enough. No, I thought he'd start getting a little squirrely. I thought it would too. What do you say? I don't know why everybody just doesn't take their shocks off. I like it. Can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I can't believe you're driving this like it's terrifying. I don't know why me. you're death gripping the handle right now. It's, it's terrifying in here oh, with those shocks. You get used to it. I'm gonna send those new rough country shocks I got back. I don't need them. No, oh, heck no. Right back <laughs> caddy. You bought rough country shocks new? Yeah, they're on their way. Oh. I'll be here on Monday. I don't think anybody could actually like we can't film the terrifyingness that's going on right here. You don't think, you don't think they're getting that? Huh? No, there's no way. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah, no, we took that corner a little fast. Fine. I like it more without shots. Until it gets speed wobbles. But I don't like it. All right, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, we're speeding up. Slow down. Dude, take your hand off the handle. Dude, I, I have one hand on the handle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're acting like we've never driven past a cliff with no shocks before. Yeah, that's terrifying, right? We'll be fine. I'm a pro with no shocks. You should be too. Right? <laughs> I am too, but I don't <laughs> take it like 60 around a corner with a big old cliff. See, that's fine. <laughs> Something's rolling around back right there. there. It's probably the back two shocks. 
So did we come to a conclusion? I think it's fine. What do you think? Well, you were the one driving it. It got death wobble there for a second. Oh, it was that's terrifying. The, that's the only complaint I got. Did the front axle ever leave the ground? Three times. Probably. But only three. Probably when we hit that curb. So I'm, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I think it with the shocks is like 4 out of 10. So it's better. So if you live about two and a half hours from here, are you going to put them back on for the ride home? I'm pretty sure it's illegal to drive without shocks. Which I forgot to tell you guys, I was filmed in Mexico by professionals on a closed course. <laughs> oh yeah, that was yeah. in Mexico for sure. Brady doesn't get it. <laughs> he's, he's not buying it. <laughs> Mexico doesn't get that cold. No, no, I'm definitely gonna have shocks on the road. For sure? Highway patrol, mm-hmm. They're gonna be on there. I think that's probably. I could probably take the steering stabilizers and use them. There you go, they're not doing anything. Nah. There's two of them too. You only need one. <laughs> we're, we're glad he learned something today. Yeah. What? We need shocks. On our I didn't learn. They're there for a purpose. I didn't, didn't learn. Well, that concludes that. I think we uh, all think that it's better without shocks, right? Oh, for sure. Right? So they're not going back on. Depends on who you ask. Well, it depends on what you're doing. It's purpose built. Yeah. If you're going to drive it on like the freeway, then don't put them on. Yeah. Well, I guess Wait. it depends on what freeway. We're talking like country roads. You know, you want a smooth, easy Cadillac ride. Maybe take like them off. a Sunday ride to church. Yeah. Oh. Pff. Put quick disconnects. Take them right off. Go to church. Just bring a bucket with you and you start parts. Sick. Oh, or yeah, sick, or the fillings in your teeth need to get redone. Yeah. But it's smooth. If you have kidney problems, too, I probably yeah, that's a good man. Yeah. Good man. Yeah. Or if you have on. epilepsy or mesothelioma. <laughs> what is not. this, a commercial or something? <laughs> anyway, guys, all the side effects. If you have diarrhea, don't take off your shots. Pregnant women. And Thanks for watching, guys. 40. And subscribe to our YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and we're start don't try this at home. Thanks for watching.